Hello, welcome back to Shit Rentals of Melbourne. I'm here with Moss. Moss used to live here at 87 Kellett Street in Northcote. Um, Moss, when did you move in? So, I moved in about three or four months ago, mid-July. Nice. And how long after you moved in did they raise the rent? Three weeks. Excellent. What did they raise it to? So, they raised it up to 2,240-ish. And we'll let you be the judge as to whether you think that is a fair uh, rent for this place. Um, so, after they raised the rent, you were like, oh, not sure about that considering, you know, all the issues. Yeah, not certain that's appropriate, really. Yeah, I think I agree. And so, how long after you sent them the list of issues did they evict you? They gave us about a month of not doing very much at all. Excellent. Um, so, Moss has sent a Section 91 ZL eviction, which is an eviction with immediate notice because the place is unfit for habitation. And I do agree with that, to be, to be perfectly fair. Beautiful. <laughs> this isn't Moss's house. This is 85 Kellett Street. Um, it is a mirror image of Moss's place, which is over here. As you can probably tell, it's not doing so well <laughs> compared to this one. Uh, Moss, did you ever get an electrical or gas safety check in this house? I don't think this house has had one in the past 10 years. I think that checks out because uh, this is the switchboard and that is definitely a non-compliant switchboard. Uh, I think as you walk into the house, um, it becomes pretty clear that a rent increase is a bit on the nose considering, I guess, the whole house. So, I don't know if you can see that, but the whole house is kind of falling away from the fireplace. Um, it's, it's very much falling over. Like that, that used to be straight. But also, I guess, didn't we all? And thank you. Uh, for reference, this stick is not straight, uh, but quite clearly, neither is the house. Uh, this is the other side of the fireplace, as you can see. Uh, also not very straight. Uh, Moss, what is this hole above us? This is our fun little water feature where you get to get rained on as you walk into the kitchen. Uh, Moss, can you please turn the tap on for me? I think it's definitely meant to do that. Can you tell me some other fun features about the sink? We've got this really good one where anytime you use water, it just kind of pulls over there. How cool. Not down the sink. So when you do the dishes... Oh, you end up with a lovely little paddling pool um, yeah. rather than it just like draining down the hole where it's designed to go. And then it falls down into the sink and into the drawers. We are in the kitchen at the moment and um, I guess this is the electrics. <laughs> um, we've got the house is kind of held together by duct tape, which is really great. Uh, this stays on now, so like a, a win is a win. Um, I still don't think they've had that gas safety check though. This is where uh, I guess the rats and mice live in the gorgeous kitchen cupboards, which do, I do like the color. I guess that is, that is something. None of the windows lock whatsoever. So here we've got the stove. Um, this is the range hood, uh, but this is, this is what actually the range hood is. So as you can see, it's just a hole in the ceiling. It's got some fluff. It, it, like it's really disgusting. It likes to drop it into your food as well. Oh yes, awesome. Uh, these are range hood droppings. So um, yeah, don't leave food on the stove. Also you can fall just like put your tootie under the house through there. In the really small bathtub at the moment, which is full, like leaning to the side. Um, but also like, look at this. That is just, that is the outside. Like this whole, this whole house is just falling down. 
power, turn that off. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Just the ambiance of the house is a good vibe. Like what, like, what the fuck are you supposed to say about this? It's just fucked. Yeah. I'm currently standing in the mold ceiling room and trying not to think about breathing. Still in the mold ceiling room. Um, that's the floor of the mold ceiling room where you can, you know, I guess that's just the raw floor. So do with that information what you will. This doesn't work. sure what room I would call this. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it a room uh, considering uh, this is the bathroom which is inside this whatever room this is. That's where the rats get in so that's awesome. Uh, Moss does this thing have a name? Uh, this is the storage shed. Just don't store anything you want to keep. What, what about uh, this thing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Gary. G Gary? Is that... Excellent, Gary's a good name. Uh, this is my favourite part of the whole house. I think it's the best room, which I feel like says a lot. Moss, what is this cable so, connected to? It's connected to a power point, which is then on an extension lead that's also running the lights for outside, and the whole bungalow. Excellent, sorry I didn't get you in frame then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this whole room is powered by an extension cord, which... Where did it fucking go? Oh, the tree. Which is held up by this tree. So that's fantastic. And this is the room. It is objectively the nicest room, which, which I feel like says a lot. It is like wired up somehow, even though it's running off a extension cord. And this is the water corner, but still definitely the best room in the house, which is fucking shocking. Also, hints of insulation, just hints. Beautiful. We love to see it. Oh yeah, beautiful. I was expecting that to be squishy. This is the entertainment area, which is aptly named consider considering how entertaining the whole house is. Um, but as you can probably tell, it too is falling apart. So uh, these two guys used to be mates, um, but have since broken up. My favorite theme kind of throughout this house is that all the wood is kind of squishy. Like, I'm pretty sure wood is not meant to look like that and be wet. Have a look at that if you want. It's beautiful. Like a house. You shouldn't do that. I'm standing underneath the downpipe, which I guess is technically correct because it does point down, um, but it does mean that everything else here gets wet. Gorgeous. Do you want to tell me what happened when they came to have a squeeze at the heater? So they came and had a quick look and they guessed we hadn't had a check in quite a while. So they stuck the probe in up here for carbon monoxide and within two minutes it was reading 30 parts per million. Um, thankfully no one's been using it, but when we did last use it, uh, people were getting real sleepy with all the doors closed because there's no insulation so it's freezing all the time. Wonderful. That's how you die. A very good thing that there are so many fucking holes in this room. Otherwise, I suspect we'd have a few dead tenants, which is not a joke. But good thing there's a couple of holes, I guess. Um, also, this door used to line up, which I think is quite funny, considering now the rest of the house does not. Instead of uh, fixing the whole house, kind of falling down, they said we'd just take the top off this door and she'll be right. So yeah, no, that's, that's beautiful. 
maybe next time I should add it to the bottom. So this place was managed by Miles Real Estate who would you believe were not available for comment when I reached out. But these tenants were in a situation that thousands of renters in Australia are in and that's one where there's a silent unspoken agreement in that you don't raise the rent and we won't talk about the issues that we're having. You raise the rent, please fix your issues. The problem is in situations like this, if someone raises your rent and you're in a fucked house, they can just evict you and that's not right. This house is in the electorate of Northcote in Victoria where the local member won by less than 200 votes. I've reached out to them for comment but I doubt I'll get anything back because it seems like the Labor Party in Victoria is not super keen on talking about issues like this. I've asked them, hey, what are you gonna do to make sure that renters like this are protected and that rentals like this don't appear ever? The issue is, that so many things about this house are already illegal in Victoria, but the government does not enforce their own legislation. It's illegal to not provide gas and electrical safety checks. It's illegal to perform retaliatory evictions, and it should be illegal to rent out properties where almost not a single minimum rental standard is met, except for the fact that yes, I guess it does have running water, although that's a bit iffy. The Victorian government doesn't seem to want to do anything about rentals like these and that's a massive issue. So if you're a member of the Victorian government, let's please have a chat. I'd love to talk to you about what's going on and why you're not doing anything about it or whether you actually intend to. Hello, editing Jordan here. Um, so the member for Northcote did end up replying and I'll put the response here or something. Um, but there's something in the response that I do want to talk about. It says, ultimately properties which do not meet the minimum standards should not be on the rental market. Under the law, there are penalties for failing to provide a property that meets minimum standards and consequences for not carrying out rep requested repairs to bring a property up to minimum standards. Which is true on paper, but in reality, there's no consequences for not doing those things. The Victorian government has never prosecuted anyone for not doing an electrical or gas safety check. And also, it's up to the renter to prosecute the landlord. That's not okay. The Victorian government is not doing anything about this. They're leaving it up to you. Also, if you live in a rental like this, please reach out to me at purplepingistm at gmail.com and I'll be able to come over and visit your house. Um, thanks to everyone who has you know, signed up to the Patreon and bought merch because it's allowed me to do more of these videos and I'm super keen to keep doing more. Please also don't forget to submit your shit rental or your shit rental agency to shitrentals.org just to raise awareness so that other people know what they're getting into if they're gonna live in a place like this. Thanks for watching.